Hey guys, this is Cruz Roy. Um, this is the Inspire, and it's the Inspire 1 from DJI. Um, they're getting rarer and rarer to find batteries for these, and I've always been talking about this for years on how to build, and I built my own. I built my own 12,000 milliamp hour, I built my own 9,000 milliamp hour. Um, I also did a video on use any LiPo that you want. Now, due to time and everything going on, I haven't had much time to really build or sell batteries, but um, I did started purchasing with a guy down in Illinois. Um, he's right here in America. It's Eric Navarro, and this is an Air American battery, 9,000 milliamp hour. I've flown it 10 times already, and if it focuses in correctly, you can see is address there I'll also put it in the video this is a 22.8 and the problem with this one was really wasn't a problem uh, people were complaining about they think it's too big and it would have blade strikes from the blades on the Inspire but technically it really didn't it didn't even come close enough to even blade strike um, as you know it's the type of mod that you can put into your Inspire plug it in and he gives you the the right parts and straps to hold it into place but what I really want to show you today I mean this one's proven uh, my videos are out there and it's proven very well uh, what I did get in the mail from Eric now is this a bag of tricks is the way you could buy it if you want contact Eric and what you're gonna get if you want to just go the head route um, they're getting rare like I said so if you have one that's burnt out please send it to Eric and he'll modify the head I mean it's, it'll cost you but the whole idea is once this head is built he does a really nice job it's got a 3d printed part protecting the thermistor and everything and you have a grommet in the head and everything's pre-wired for you and it's also programmed for a 9000 milliamp battery but you can also get them in a 45 I think a 57 and a 9000 uh, you really don't want to go any bigger than a 9000 but you know he gives you all these attachments at least as for them all these attachments lightweight they're all 3d printed they don't add any more weight to the bird and a couple of straps and that'll help hold the uh, the battery in place alright what people don't know is they buy this and I really haven't seen a, a video on how to connect it to any light pole that you want um, I've already had first of all I'm going to show you the generation one battery which I think he still sells but he also has a Gen 2 battery. If you notice, it's a lot shorter, but it is taller. All right, it's still thousand. It's still 9,000 milliamp hours. All right, so this is the newer generation pack, and I wanted to do this on film on how to plug this in. He also gives me a longer wire. Now you can use any 9,000 you want, as long as he programs it for 9,000 milliamp hours and you want 120 C uh, it can be 80 C actually for the Inspire but 120 is really good for it um, but you program it he'll program it for 9000 or whatever milliamp hours you want for batteries that you want to purchase so if this battery burns up I can just buy another 9000 or order one from him alright he does put the tem you know the thermistor here if I want to bring it right directly to the head and in the head what he did is he went to the Moffat in here I think it's one of the chips that DJI uses for the whole program and, and it gets its t telemetry temperature temperature sorry from the chip inside the head alright now the only thing he says on the battery is unplug last so if it's unplug last plug first alright so your power, your main lead, you want to plug in before the balance lead. Otherwise, you'll have issues and you'll just deprogram the head. 
that's the only thing you got to kind of deal with with these. Um, but this one's a lot better. Um, the weight is different, the size is different, so you don't have to worry about a prop strike. I mean, this battery is literally, if you could stand it up in the back here, it is a little bit bigger than a stock TB48, all right? So what I wanted to do, live on video, I got to get the telemetry, make sure everything's okay, and I'm going to put this together. Came with a nice little 3D printed plug protector. All right, so anyways, let me move a few things sideways here. Here's all the attachments uh, they're for different size batteries. He gives you a few of them, or if you tell him what battery, he'll make the specific adapter for the battery. Probably won't play with those right now. So this is unplug last, or plug first, little sticker on the power. So when you get a, a head like this, if you plug the balance leads in first, it could cause the BMS to deprogram. And uh, so if you just do it right, you'll have it for a long time. And you can buy, like I said, any battery you want to fly your Inspire, which was my Inspired video a long time ago. Uh, I did a video, I think, three years ago, and I uh, showed you how to wire it up and everything. And without the programming skills, I couldn't get it properly set, but Eric's been doing a real good job. Um, they seem to be working fine. Um, he hot glues the ends together so they don't pull apart. But let me do this now without all the blabbing. Let's see what goes on. We're going to plug in the feed first. And then we're going to plug in the balance protector, the balance leads. All right. And I got a dual light. It's going to reboot. There you go. And that's how it works. It rebooted the head. And we got three stars. Uh, another thing, you can charge this with any Inspire charger. But I'm going to try to see the telemetry in here first. Just to give you an idea. But I only have three lights. It's not fully charged. And I'll show you in a minute how you can charge it with your charger. So... First, feel the tension on everything. Make sure you put it in the right way. This battery still has plenty of room to fit in here. I'm not going to put the props on. Let me plug it in. Power's on, of course, which I should have shut the battery off. All right. So the drone's on. What I want to do is open up the DJI Go app. I hope you can see all of this. DJI Go app. Sometimes an Inspire is like the Spark. Almost identical. It's not showing anything. I'm not the raw. I'm going to go to the Inspire 1. It won't show up. So what you got to do sometimes, unplug it. Plug it back in. The USB. Give it a few seconds. Oh, hey, turn on the radio. Don't be an idiot. Give it a few seconds to connect. She's in connected. Inspire 1. I don't have the camera on. I'm wondering if I can do this without the camera. Inspire 1. I'm going to bring it out of transport mode. And what I'm probably going to have to do is shut down for a minute. And I'm going to have to add the camera. Okay? I'll be back in a few minutes. So just hold on there. I forgot I needed the camera to show me the telemetry. Alright, I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back guys. I'm gonna go through all of this. I screwed up. Let me shut her off. Okay. Unlock the cap. Plug the camera back in. That was my fault, guys. Trying to make a short video, it's going to turn into a long video. Okay, let's turn the battery back on. See if it'll start up on its own. My mistakes, folks. I just came home. I just got this head in. I wanted to check it. All right, so like I said, sometimes she don't connect on her own. Let it sit for a minute. Unplug. Plug it back in. Okay. Spire one camera. Let's turn it on. All right. I fly all my drones that are hacked in airplane mode. No more, no less. I don't want DJI to know anything that's going on. I have the hacked version of Go. Alright. So right now you can see everything's working. It's looking at my fat belly. Alright. Let me turn the battery situation on here. Alright. If you look at the remaining capacity is 5779. I'm hoping you can see this. Total capacity is 9030. Battery life is at 100%. Low battery warning 20%, critical at 10%. All right, no errors, no anything on Eric's battery. Eric's battery is in the unit. I'm going to shut that down. All right, now that was just to show you the telemetry. It'll also bring up the temp, the battery temperature. If you go into the advanced settings, we have um, 23.42 volts and 25.5 centigrade. It's using the chip as the temperature telemetry. Let me shut that off. What I want to do now, like I said, this isn't fully charged. I'm going to shut off the radio. Shut off the bird. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is take the head out. I'm going to move a few things around. I had one of the brackets still in there. Now if you watch my other videos you'll see me fly the first generation battery. Alright, compared to the second generation battery. So what I want to do, let me move the transmitter. I use a, power, a smart power charge. I love this unit. Pull the extra plugs out. What I'm going to do without voltage detection, of course, I mean it detects it, but I don't need to put the head in. I also have this adapter. Turn the unit on. I'm going to plug it into the Gen 1. I'll put some links down here on how to get in touch with Eric. Alright, so that's the Gen 1 battery. Shift it over. This is the second battery that I just tested. Let's see how I usually make room. Plug it in. I don't know if you can see the amount here. But right now this battery is at 23.9. This battery can go to 26.6 or 0.3. Alright, so this is just to show you that you can charge this unit in any Inspire charge. You don't, or you can charge this separately. But what I like to do is not disconnect these. But like I said, you can use the head, LiPo battery dies, unplug it, throw it away, continue using your Inspire until it just
goes so far that it can't even fly anymore. The important thing is DJI wants these gone. They want you to buy the Inspire 2 or in fact the Inspire 3 is coming out this summer. So, but I like the one. That's how I feel about it. This is Cruise Roy. Contact Eric. Get your batteries made. These are good for 30 minutes. Watch my video. I have a long boring video for 30 minutes. I will be trying this one soon. It's cold up here. We're ranging anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees. So it'll be a different on the running, but I've already tested this one. Proven. Slow boring video of almost 30 minutes. And I will tell you what this one is. Alright, this is Cruise Roy. I hope this helps you out. Keep flying the Inspire 1. Don't give up on her. There's plenty of parts out there. People are saying they can't get parts. Just buy a used crashed one. There's plenty of parts. Alright, it's Cruise Roy. I'm out of here.